episode 95 mm. hallelujah thank you jesus we honor you we magnify your wondrous name you are worthy to be praised worthy to be adored Lord as in the days of old according to your word in numbers Ten thirty-five. Now, whenever the ark set out, Moses said, "Rise up, Lord. May your enemies be scattered. May your foes flee before you." Whenever it came to rest, he said, "Return, Lord, to the countless thousands of Israel." But Lord, now we live in a time where you have already fulfilled the Old Testament and you are our Messiah that they did not know of. They were looking forward to your coming and Lord now you're here. Oh Lord. So we come to fill up the golden bowl in this episode Lord and we come to fill it up in prayer. We come to fill it up with thanksgiving and we come to fill up the golden bowl. Father, we put our confidence in you and trust in you alone. There is no other God besides you. You are worthy to be praised, worthy to be adored, worthy to be glorified. We fill up the golden bowl today. We pray. We worship. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We come to fill up the golden bowl. We fill up the golden bowl. We fill up the golden bowl. the golden bowl tonight this morning this afternoon this night Lord be exalted far above all we could ask think or imagine Lord in this wonderful journey in this season 8 of 150 days of Psalms you are a great God you are a mighty God you always hear and answer prayer
Open our eyes, Lord, to see wonderful things out of your law. Help us to walk in your counsel and to hear you in this time, in this moment, in this afternoon, in this day, in this night season. Be exalted, King of kings, Lord of lords, conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. We fill up the golden bowl with our worship and with our praises. Thank you, everlasting Father. Help us, Lord, to hear your voice constantly. To step out of our circumstances, Lord. Step out of our circumstances. Help us, Lord, that as we read and proclaim the word of God, it will become flesh. It will become living. It will become living, Lord. That the scripture will become living, active, in us, sharper than a two-edged sword. Shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Psalm 95. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him. With music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hand formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture. The flock under his care. you hear his voice if only you hear his voice do not harden your hearts as you did at Meribah as you did that day at Massa in the wilderness where your ancestors tested me they tried me though they had not they had seen what I did Psalm 95 verse 10 for 40 years I was I was angry with the generation I said there are a people whose hearts go astray and they have not known my ways so I declared on off in my anger they shall never enter my rest of God we honor the Lord for his goodness his mercy that is everlasting from everlasting to everlasting we glorify the name of the Lord there is none who can compare to him
Psalm 95, a powerful song. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods, with a small g. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his. He made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture. The flock under his care, today, if only you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did at Meribah and as you did that day at Massa in the wilderness where your ancestors tested me. They tried me, though they had not seen, they had seen what I did. For 40 years, I was very angry. I was angry with that generation. I said, there are a people whose hearts go astray. They have not known my ways. So I declared on oath in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. Beloved, as we proclaim, I come to introduce to you the word of God. I'm your host, Malcolm David. This word is not ordinary, it's living, active, sharper than a two-edged sword. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. In Mark 10, verse number 5, it says, It was because your hearts were hard that Moses wrote you this law. Hebrews 3 verse 8 Do not harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion during the time of testing in the desert. Beloved, the situations you are facing could lead you to harden your heart. So in your wilderness, continually and constantly check on the condition of your heart towards the Lord. For these people hardened their heart when the Lord tested them, tried them. And he swore in his anger that they will never enter the rest. Deuteronomy 1.35 It says, Not a man of the evil, this evil generation shall see the good land I swore to give to your forefathers. There's a position that you can bring yourself to where you harden your heart rather than receiving that what God has released for you. I come to encourage somebody here today. I know the tests and the trials may be hot and fiery, but let your heart remain focused on God so that you may turn away from unbelief and fill up your golden bowl as we shall see shortly about the golden bowl in the book of Revelation 8. The golden bowl that is mixed up with fire, that the golden bowl is, is completely, you know, uh, prayers and 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 uh and worship and the incense going up to the lord this is the golden bowl that we need to fill up with prayer and adoration for in the time of testing these people as is stipulated in psalm 95 they hardened their heart and so god declared in his by his oath in his anger they shall never enter my rest Let's go to Proverbs 21 and then we're going to see some wonderful pointers there 
in the most excellent name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Proverbs 21. Good to see you, Purity. Welcome. Proverbs 21, it says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. He directs it like a watercourse wherever he pleases. It says, All a man's ways seem right to him, but the Lord weighs the heart. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked are seen. The plans of the diligent lead to profit, as surely as haste leads to poverty. A fortune made by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor and a deadly snare. The violence of the wicked will drag them away, for they refuse to do what is right. The way of the guilty is devious, but the conduct of the innocent is upright. Proverbs 21.9 Better, listen wives, my dear sisters, better to live on a corner of the roof than share a house with a quarrelsome wife. The wicked man craves evil. His neighbor gets no mercy from him. The mocker, when a mocker is punished, the simple gain wisdom. When a wise man is instructed, he gets wisdom, he gets knowledge. The righteous one takes note of the house of the wicked and brings the wicked to ruin. If a man shuts his ears to the cry of the poor, he too will cry out and not be answered. Verse 14. A gift given in secret soothes anger, and a bribe concealed in the clock pacifies great wrath. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to evildoers. A man who strays from the path of understanding comes to rest in the company of the dead. He who loves pleasure will become poor. Whoever loves wine and oil will never be rich. The wicked become a ransom for the righteous and they are unfaithful for the upright. Better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and ill-tempered wife. Proverbs 21, 20. In the house of the wise are stores of choice food and oil, but a foolish man devours all he has. Proverbs 21, 21. He who pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. A wise man attacks the city of the mighty and pulls down the stronghold in which they, they trust. Dear intercessor, allow me to have you underline that scripture. Highlight it. Write it down somewhere. Because for intercessory prayer, for filling up the golden bowl, we need wisdom. A wise man attacks the city of the mighty and pulls down the stronghold in which they trust. He who guards his mouth and his tongue keeps himself from calamity. The proud and arrogant man, Mocha is his name, he behaves with overweening pride. The sluggard's craving will be the death of him because his hands refuse to work. All day long he craves for more, but the righteous give without sparing. Proverbs 21, 27. The sacrifice of the wicked is detestable. How much more so when brought with evil intent? A false witness will perish. And whoever listens to him 
will be destroyed forever. A wicked man puts up a bold front, but an upright man gives thought to his ways. Hallelujah! There is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the Lord. Beloved, this is another scripture that I would want to bring to your attention. This is a scripture I would like to bring you to your attention. When we are talking about the golden bull, and particularly as I mentioned this, to us, dear intercessors, as you're listening, as you're watching, as you're tuning in, wherever you are in the world, that in this time, the Lord is calling you higher. You are an overcomer. Let's go to Revelation 8. And now begin to receive these beautiful truths. Revelation 8. The seventh seal and the golden censer. This is the one that is called also the golden bowl in the King James Version. Revelation 8 When he opened the second seal the seventh seal when he opened the seventh seal there was silence in heaven for about half an hour And I saw the seven angels who stood before God and to them were given seven trumpets Another angel who had a golden censer came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense to offer with a prayer of all the saints on the golden altar before the throne. The smoke of the incense together with the prayer of the saints went up before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and hurled it on the earth, and there came peals of thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. I want to read this same portion in the King James Version, that we may get just a different um, translation as I bring this wonderful revelation to us about filling up the golden bowl. The golden bowl filled up with prayers, incense, prayers of the saints. Where it says together with the prayers of the saints. So let's check this out in the KJV or in the NLT as well, the New Living Translation. You can just follow up with no matter the translation you're doing. The main purpose of 150 Days of Psalms is to establish our interaction with the word of God that constantly you will pick up your Bible. This is what it's all about. And that you will do this as the Lord enables us. As we've come to this beautiful episode. The Lord has enabled us to come to Revelation 8. And we read it and we want to get how it sounds in the Greek as well. And when he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about the space of half an hour. Then I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood before the golden altar, having a golden censer, and was given unto him much incense that he should offer with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar which was before God the throne what a great God we serve in Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 6 he says it Let me just read from verse 4. Now why don't we go from verse 1? Ecclesiastes 12. So that we can 
get some more meat of this and i'll read the king james it says remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not the years draw near when you shall say i have no pleasure in them while the sun or the light of the moon or the stars be not darkened nor the clouds return after the rain in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and strong men shall bow down shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low and it shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low also they shall be afraid of that which is high and fears shall be in the way and the almond tree shall fall flourish and the grasshopper shall be a burden and desire shall fail because man goeth to his long home and the mourners go about the streets or ever the silver cord be loosed or the golden bowl be broken or the pitcher be broken at the fountain or the wheel broken at the cistern beloved fill up the golden bowl fill up the golden bowl in prayer fill it up in prayer fill up the censer with prayer as you embrace the truth of God's word Revelation 8 as we proclaim this it says in verse 6 Revelation 8 then the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared to sound them the first angel sounded the trumpet and there came hail and fire mixed with blood and it was hurled down upon the earth a third of the earth was burned up a third of the trees were burned up and all the green grass was burned up the second angel sounded his trumpet and something like a huge mountain all ablaze was thrown into the sea a third of the sea turned into blood a third of the living creatures in the sea died and a third of the ships were destroyed the third angel sounded his trumpet and a great star blazing like a torch fell from the sky on the third of the rivers and the springs of water and the name of the star is wormwood a third of the waters turned bitter and many people died from the waters that had become bitter a fourth angel sounded his trumpet and a third of the sun was struck a third of the moon a third of the stars so that a third of them turned dark a third of the day was without light and also a third of the night as i watched I had an angel that was flying mid-air call out in a loud voice woe woe to the inhabitants of the earth because of the trample blast about to be sounded by the other three angels beloved is a time of new beginnings is a time to proclaim that you are stepping out of your circumstances because you do not live in your circumstances you live in the lord you must discover the awesome permission that you carry the awesome permission that you carry in the lord that is in the intentionality of God that we may be together with the saints mixing up our prayers rising up as incense before God fill up the golden bowl with prayer fill it up pray more in moments when you don't know what to do start with these words let us pray if you're on your own begin to pray just pray 
you must see the Lord as he really is. In his intentionality, he made it intentional that if we shall seek him, we shall find him if we seek him with all our hearts. And as Moses, every time the ark was raising to go, he always said, may the Lord arise. He had the knowledge that the ark, when it is being lifted to go to another place, it is the power of God that is going with them. The ark of the Lord. Numbers 10 verse 36. That verse 35 and 36. Let me just read that so that you can be able to see. Let me just read it in the King, King James also. It's a beautiful way to, you know, dive deep into the things of God. So Numbers 10 and verse 35. It says, And it came to pass when the ark set forward that Moses said, Rise up, Lord, and let thine enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee before thee. In another translation, it says, Let your enemies be scattered before you. And when it rested, in verse 36, he said, Return, O Lord, unto the many thousands of Israel. How much more now that we are in Yeshua? How much more now that we are in Christ Jesus? That we can fill up our golden censer. Fill up our golden bowl in prayer. Fill it up in prayer. Hallelujah. Before it breaks while we are on earth, we must continue to look to him and his strength. We must continue. We must see ourselves as we must see God as he really is. Hallelujah. Not as your church experience has depicted him to be. Because your church experience may give you a different view of God. Maybe how you do your programs, how you do your projects. You may think that God works like that. But he is beyond your church experience. He is beyond what you ask, think or imagine. You must be upgraded in every way. You must be upgraded that the Lord will show you He's the God of the heavens. As you pray, you will walk in the God of the kingdom. You will walk in His ways as you fill up the golden bowl in prayer and say, Lord, I need you. I need more of you. Because God is bringing you into a new dimension. A place of power and a place of the Spirit. A place of the spirit where truth is the gateway to experience you need truth to experience the release of wisdom God is calling us to walk in power it's the time of promotion to walk in divine power to walk in divine authority fill up your golden sense beloved pray fill up your golden bowl pray much of the come, much, much towards the Lord. Walk in His counsel, walk in His divine plan. For your life needs to be governed by how God sees you. Your life needs to be governed. Would you pray before the Lord right now and just say, Father, I choose to walk in your intentionality in the name of Jesus. Lord, I choose. To walk in your intentionality. In the name of Jesus. I choose to walk in your counsel. I choose to walk in your divine plan. Lord, I trust you. Would you say those words to him? Yes. No longer as a child, but as a son. I trust you. Moving into maturity. Learning your authority in God. Embracing our liberty in him. Changing our DNA into the DNA that he has. The DNA of Christ. That I don't want to function in the DNA of my forefathers. I want to function in his DNA. Oh God, I raise up my prayer to you. The Lord God, even as we make intercession for the nations, we do it as sons and in power. Operating in your divine grace and capacity. 
the Lord, you have already given us authority and power and wisdom. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Speaking into our life. The DNA of sonship gives you access into the things of God that you had no access before. All life begins in the blood. All life is in the blood. Father my God, it's through the name of Yeshua that I am sure that I am insured for the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Would you pray? There's a scripture I mentioned to you in Proverbs 21 that says the wise man he goes and destroys the strongholds of the mighty let me just get that one I think it's in Proverbs 21 I, I mentioned that we should um underscore that one verse 22 a wise man attacks the city of the mighty and pulls down the stronghold in which they trust right now father as we fill up our golden bowl in prayer we pull down strongholds that have been lifted father we've seen the kingdom of darkness trying to intimidate the believers to feel like their power is not available but Lord the DNA of sonship gives us access and we have access that we are more than overcomers we have access I have access in the name of Jesus I will not fear the terror of night or the arrow that flies by day Father, as we continue to come yonder, as your word declares in Psalm 95, O oh God, come, let us bow down before him. Oh, hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this wonderful moment to persevere, to stay in your presence, to remain steadfast, calling on your name calling on your name trusting in your name looking to you and all your strength oh god hey i love you jesus i bow before you Thank you, Lord, for your permissions and your inheritance. From this place, O oh God, I have a deeper and broader authorization in the name of Yeshua. So we attack the city of the mighty and pull down the strongholds in which they trust by having our faith in you, Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the battle belongs to the Lord. We trust you, Jehovah God. Lord, we step out of our circumstances. We step out of our situations right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that those uh, impossible circumstances right now, we are not those circumstances. We rise up against those circumstances in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Robara de skele kapaya redabai. Rade de sondoro kodobodos siata di rabai. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we get a deeper and broader authorization in you, oh God. We go deeper into your counsel over the enemy, oh God. As we fill up our golden bowl in prayer, Lord, 
we are empowered we are embraced in power authority in permission we inhabit we inherit hallelujah there is none like you lord there is none like you lord there is none like you you Jesus we glorify your name you are wonderful to be praised worthy to be praised worthy to be adored oh hallelujah we fill up the golden bowl Lord we even pray for the missions Lord we pray for every place that our feet are stepped to proclaim the word of God at the borders of Tanzania the borders of Ethiopia Lord you're the one who is able to bring us into every avenue into every corner into every place into every space in the name of Jesus we fill up our golden bowl in prayer oh hallelujah we come yonder, we rise, we rise, we rise. Father, I pray for your power to flow in every circumstance, in every situation. Lord, in this transmission, Lord, may your power flow. May many souls be transformed and changed. Hallelujah. May many be safe. May many be healed. We reject cancer. We reject any form of cancer. Prostrate cancer. We reject you. We reject every form of uh, breast cancer. Right now, Father, I pray for healing. Begin to flow. Let healing flow upon the lives of the people. Upon everyone here present. May you receive this our prayer, Lord, for healing. Hey. <laughs> intervene in every matter, in every circumstance, in every circumstance, in every situation. For we step out of those circumstances right now. Begin to ascend into a new dimension. As we are rearmed in the spirits. Hallelujah. Lari de sonde kapa la de des lari de koshora baya la desaya. Lord God, continue to surround us with your favor as a shield, O God. Help us right now by your power, by your dominion. Reveal yourself to us. Even the more, Lord, we call on your name. We trust you, Lord. We put our confidence in you. Rade bosha la 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 bos. Legele bosha la 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 la. Lord, there is none who can compare to you. You are everlasting. From everlasting to everlasting, we fill up our golden bowl in prayer. Oh, God. We honor you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. Ah. We rise up upgraded right now. We rise up upgraded. Father, you are faithful. 
In the name of Jesus, Lord, may you pour out your fire upon every altar. May you pour out your fire upon everyone calling on your name. Yeah. We fill up our golden bowl. As we proclaim your word, Father, in obedience to you, you reign. That we live in the majesty of your affection, Lord, undaunted, unworried, unbeaten, O oh God. Father, we thank you for upgrading us. Thank you, Lord, for upgrading. Thank you, Lord, for upgrading. Thank you, Lord, that you're upgrading us right now. Thank you, Lord, for the upgrading. Thank you, Lord, for the upgrading. Thank you, Lord, that spiritually you're upgrading your children. You're upgrading us tonight. This afternoon, you're upgrading us. You're upgrading us. You're upgrading us. We are upgraded in you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord God, as we proclaim your word, ah, uh, your word is living and active. Hallelujah. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth that did not repent and turn to you. So, Father, we pray, send the preachers, send the laborers, not rebala this kapaya, send laborers into the wire, the harvest field. It's ripe and ready that many may be saved and many may hear the gospel. Ah. May you cause our golden bowl to be filled to the overflowing in the name of Jesus Christ. We take time to pray. 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 We pray and fill up the golden bowl, the golden censer before the golden altar. As according to your word in Revelation 8. I, I worship you Lord. We call on your name Jehovah. You are wonderful in all your dealings with mankind. You are excellent in all your dealings oh God. For we live in a present that is beautiful. that our present is being filled with the glory of God. Beloved, dear intercessor, may you live in a present so beautiful, a present so beautiful, filled with the glory of God, that you will carry only his burden. Earthbound logic cannot cannot comprehend what God is doing right now. Earthbound logic cannot. <laughs> we need the mind of Christ. We come renewing our mind. The mind of Christ. The mind of Christ. The mind of Christ. The mind of Christ. We fill up the golden bowl. The golden censer filled with the prayers of the saints. Lord, we bask in your glory in the present. We are in the present. Oh God, we are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. We adore you, oh God. We honor you, Jesus. We say there is none like you. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your purposes rise up. 
let your purposes fill, uh, fill our atmosphere, fill the environment, fill every location. Ah. Oh God, we worship you. Now, now, the Lord is calling you into a higher place of overcoming. To walk the way of a warrior, a spiritual warrior. That you are walking in power and authority, healing and dominion. The power of the Holy Ghost is flowing. Ah, magara deske paya la dira, roborose teke paya la disle baya kaya radarbusa, radikere matosa kapai, la rede ke zota la mari deska paya dira, roka rada disebe ata la barina kai dala, paya radoske ke kari deso poyoda. We fill up the golden, the golden bowl. We fill up the golden bowl. We fill up the golden bowl. We fill up the golden bowl in prayer. We fill it up in prayer. We fill it up in prayer. Oh, hallelujah. Father, we honor you. We honor you, Jesus. Your power, your dominion, your authority. Is beyond what we could ask, think, or imagine. Lord, that you are shifting our focus of you from our church experience, from what our church experience is, what we call as church, Lord. Ah, we rise against the yeast of the Pharisees. I want you to pray, beloved, because. One thing that the Lord Jesus Christ told the disciples when he was still here on earth, he said, be careful about the yeast of the Pharisees. The yeast of the Pharisees is the sin of the religious leaders. And many times in our position, in our homes, in our families, we are those religious leaders. We are those, the moment you give your life to Jesus and you begin to walk with God, choose not to walk in the way of religion religion just seeks to fulfill a desire of some form of righteousness but the lord desires that we do not you know in the way of religion is the story of the good samaritan we see it that the, there was a priest who saw the man who was beaten he left him another man passed by and he looked and said ah, -ah. but there was a samaritan a Samaritan and Jews, they don't mix together those days. But the Samaritan came and picked the man who was injured. Took him to an inn. Paid for the inn. And said, if there are any other costs, please call my number. In those days, of course, there were no phones. But they had a way of communication. They had a way that they could be able to reach him if at all they needed him. But the Lord Jesus taught the disciples about this man and said, Look, this man was not a Jew, but this man did something that is worth mention in all the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. He taught us about the good Samaritan. And this is a position that as we are filling up the golden bowl in prayer, we must pray against the yeast of the Pharisees. We must pray for ourselves that we will not walk in the way of the way of uh, the way of uh, the way of, of uh, the Pharisees, though they hardened their heart in their moment of testing, as we've read in Psalm 95. They said that do not harden your heart. If today you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. It's time for you not to just visit, but it's a time for you to dwell in the place of abundance where you will not need to visit, you need to dwell. Psalm 91 the word of the Lord says that he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty that I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust surely he will save you from the fuller snare and from the deadly pestilence he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness will be your shield and rampant 
you will not fear the terror of night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in the darkness or the plague that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, no harm will befall you, beloved of God. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They are lifting you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Ah, you're treading upon the lion and the cobra, trampling the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him. For he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him. And show him my salvation. In Revelation 8. We are living in times. When these prophetic activities. That denote the fulfillment of the end of days are coming to pass. He says that when the seventh seal, when he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the angels, the seven angels who stand before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. And another angel who had a golden censer came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense to offer with the prayer of all the saints in revelation 5 and verse 8 the word of the lord says and when he had taken it the four living creatures and the twenty and four elders fell before the throne and each of them had a harp and they were holding golden bowls full of incense which are the prayers of the saints Beloved, as I bring this incredible message in this episode, fill up the golden bowls. That's the message. Fill up the golden bowls. Fill them up. Don't be tired to pray. Don't be tired to worship God. Don't be tired to walk in His counsel and in His might. I found myself in a situation where you know my desire was to pray more and pray and pray and pray but I looked and there with me were people that were feeling exhausted from the prayer <laughs> because they are not used to it may you choose to be used to feeling the golden bowl Revelation 5 8 gives us the powerful title of this session we've had each one had a hub and they were holding golden bowls full of incense which are the prayers of the saints the prayers of the saints should not last only one minute two minutes they should be all the time in circumstances where you do not know what to do have these words let us pray let us fill up the bowl let us fill up the golden bowls full of incense. Let us fill them up. Let us have a harp in our hands. The harp represents our worship to God. Let's fill our hearts with thanksgiving. Let's fill our minds with the renewal and embracing of the truth of Christ. Hallelujah. In the beginning of the night watches, in the beginning of the day watches what a freedom and liberty we carry that in the time we live whether we pray in the night or we pray in the night in the morning we pray in the afternoon the main goal is just keep on praying and filling up your golden bowls just keep on putting up your heart and your soul and your spirit in him 
trust him. Put your confidence in him. Do not be afraid of the terror. Father, we thank you. And we honor you for this wonderful episode. The word of God says in Romans 10 verse 9, If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. You shall be saved. In every episode, this is an invitation I always make. That if it's your first time to watch this video or to be in the prayer draft, constantly remind others to give their life to Jesus and be a participator of the God nature. That being able to participate by this great and powerful promises. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Even in the next episode, we continue to bless the Lord. Shalom.